Check out this off-road teardrop camper by Lead Dog Motorsports. It's pretty cool. Got that articulating arm there. It's got a cargo rack on the front. Tie your cargo down. We got these stabilizers here. You got your entry door on both sides. Cubby holes on top for some gear. It's like pretty cool. Solid wood construction. Got some a lot of windows, sliding windows. The bed folds out just enough so you can sleep in here. You got a vent on the top so you can get some uh, air in here. You got an awning. And it's even um, strong enough to have a roof rack so you can have a rooftop tent. So the kids can sleep up there and the parents can sleep down here and keep an eye on the kids. Propane. And I got some major off-road tires here. I like how the fenders are flat. Flat so you can use it as a, as a work surface. That's nice. Cool. Excuse me. And then in the back, you can put all your cooking gear. Tons of space for cooking gear here. And you can even pass through. You can reach through. So if you're inside and you want to reach in here and get your coffee or whatever, you can still do that. Front runner boxes. Power. Got leaf spring suspension with uh, you get some kind of reservoir shocks, Dirt Logic reservoir shocks. That's nice, nice and heavy duty, man. That's for sure. You can put a hitch on there so you can um, carry your bikes. So oh, it got roto packs for your water. Here's a ladder to get to the rooftop tent. I really like this one. You know what's the cool thing about this one? I've, I've filmed many of these before, and they're always expensive. They're like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, eight thousand one hundred ninety-five bucks. That's not bad. That's actually the one of the cheapest prices I've seen around. Very cool, and it's off-road capable, unlike some of the ones that I've seen that that they can't barely go off-road. I like that. That's very cool.